In today's demo, I'm going to talk you through CDC queries. CDC queries is the new name for CDC transformations, and it offers a bunch of new features as of 23.1. Let's hop into a terminal. I'll start Red Panda, which is Kafka compatible. I'll create a topic called published posts, and I'll create a consumer against those. So any messages we get published on CDC will arrive here. Next, I'll create a day space. As 23.1 isn't available yet, I'm going to be using 23.1 alpha, and I'll create a table. This creates a table of posts, blog posts, with a title, a body, and a published at timestamp, which is going to be useful because of the functionality that CDC queries provides. Next, I'll create the change feed itself. This will create a change feed against the posts table, such that any inserts, updates, or deletes will trigger a response from the change feed. Now with CockroachDB CDC, we don't have to publish every message. In this example, I'm selecting some properties, I'm building some properties, and I'm limiting. So I'm filtering the output of the CDC messages so that we don't get everything. We'll only get messages where the published at is not null. Now obviously, if we delete a published message, we're not gonna be showing that, but for this example, that's okay. One new feature as of 23.1, is this object here. It's a tuple based column called CDC prev, which gives us access to a row's previous column values. That'd be useful to say this row's column changed from this value to this value. Let's create that. And now insert some data. First, I'm going to insert two unpublished posts. And notice that that gets no response because of the filters we created against the change feed. Next, I'll publish one of those posts. And now we get a message on CDC. Previously, it was unpublished. The title was one. And our new published app has a value now. Next, I'll update the title. And because this is published, we get the message. We got the previous published, the new published, which is the same. But the difference is the title has changed. Previously title one, now a new title. Now I'm going to unpublish the post. Notice that now because published at is null, we don't get any message on CDC. And I'll update the title just to reflect that we won't get any new messages on CDC. Finally, I'll insert a brand new item into the post table, which is published. And as expected, that publishes a message onto CDC. CockroachDB manages change feeds as a collection of jobs. To cancel a job, you find the job first, get the ID, and then cancel it. In order to find a change feed, I show change feed jobs, and I just select the columns that I care about. That just gives us one. I'll copy that and then cancel job, and that's canceled the change feed for us. Anything that I add into the table now won't result in a change feed message. CDC Prev isn't the only new feature as of 23.1. We also give you access to the CRDB internal system catalog for things like calculating a row's age. There's also event op, which is a new function that you can call from your change feed, which tells you the type of action that was performed that created the CDC message, upsert, delete, etc. And finally, you can also call non-volatile, that is to say, don't result in any changes to the database, UDFs, user-defined functions. So if you have a user-defined function, you can call that, get information from there, and use that in your change feed messages.